Hi everyone, let's solve today's daily challenge that is find the index of the first occurrence in a string. So in this question we are given two strings needle and haystack and we have to return the index of the first occurrence of needle in haystack or minus one if needle is not the part of a haystack, right? So um, we are given two strings. So what do we have to do? We need to first find whether this needle string is present inside of haystack or not, right? If it is present, what we what do we have to do? We have to return the first index uh, we have to return the index of the first occurrence in the string for example here you see this needle string it is sad right and sad is present twice in haystack here right that is here it is present and it is also present here right so so first thing that we have found is that this particular string is present inside of haystack so now we have to return the first occurrence in a string so we can see that it occurs at zero and sixth index right so, um, but we have to return the first occurrence. So first occurrence is obviously this part, right? So we will return zero. So that is the first occurrence. Now in cases where you do not find any, um, you do not find this particular string inside of haystack, what you have to do, you have to simply return minus one. For example, this second test case, this particular string you see is not present inside of this string, right? So how can we find any occurrence of it? If we have not found any occurrence, how can we return the first occurrence, right? So we will simply return minus one. Now, it, it's a simple problem. So what we'll be doing is, what we'll be doing is, okay, let's see. Let's see or what we'll be doing. Okay. So what is given to us? We are given, um, you were given something like this let's write this and let's write this right and needle was sad right now <coughs> what do we have to do we have to just simply consider we have to simply consider substrings of size needle right inside of haystack so what we will do we will be iterating from 0th position and we will be finding these substrings right of let's say needle's length is x, right? So we will be finding x length strings inside of haystack. So we will check for this. Then from the second index, we will check for this particular string. Third, from third index, we will be checking from this particular string and so on, right? So uh, within one traversal of this particular um, haystack string, we can simply calculate our answer, right? So we will just consider this particular string. We will check if this string is equal to needle or not right if it is equal what will we do we will simply return uh, the ith index right wherever we are right so that is what we have to do and um, let's also code it out that it will be more clear to you okay so we have so first thing is uh, there will be an edge case that if the needle size is greater than the haystack size then obviously you will be not uh, you will not be able to find this needle string inside of haystack right so what we will do we will let's uh, write it down we will simply return minus one in that case right when needle dot size is greater than haystack dot size right we will simply return minus one because obviously we cannot find needle inside of haystack otherwise what we'll be doing is we will be traversing inside of this haystack string and we will be considering substrings from each index of size a uh, needle right so let's also take the sizes of these strings inside of some variable right so let's say x is needle dot size and let's say y is haystack dot size right now what we will do we will as we said we will be traversing inside of this and i will be less than or equal to the difference between y minus x why because um, because we will be considering up to this point right see its length is 3 right so why we need a substring of 3 right? 3 length right so if we go beyond this point in the haystack string how can we find a substring of length 3 right so that is why we will be traversing up to y minus x okay and then what we will do we will simply take the substring so in c++ you can use sub str function 
so you take the substring of haystack starting from ith index and uh, how many characters you need you uh, have to okay wait it is in sub str function and you pass two parameters here first is the uh, starting point or the starting index and the second parameter is the size of the string that you want right so the size of the string was simply x right because we want a um, substring of length needle size right so we will consider this string s now we will compare whether this string is equal to needle or not right so we will say if s equal equal needle if these two strings are equal that means we have found an occurrence so we will simply return i here right so this will be our very first occurrence and obviously because we don't have to do anything with other occurrences so we will simply return it here right otherwise if we are not able to uh, return anything from this loop we will return minus 1 that means that we didn't find anything here right so let's quickly run it okay so it's accepted so that is how you have to solve this question